month long, we are shining the spotlight on black arts and culture in St. Louis. And tonight we are bringing you a treasure you may have actually driven by. Driving down St. Louis Avenue in North City, Justin Andrews toured the Griot Museum of Black History and uncovered the impacts black St. Louisans have had on the arts. I think we're the crucible. For 27 years along St. Louis Avenue, we've been here through the rough times. Between Old North St. Louis and the Jeff Vanderloo neighborhoods, you'll find this place near the new NGA site. I think we are an important part of the ecosystem here. Initially named the Black World History Wax Museum, which was this crazy name that just really didn't describe who we were at all. And later changed it to the Griot Museum of Black History. It's the second of its kind in the country. It's a major part of our lives, but it's a major part of the lives of this, the fabric of this community. This space is really grounding for you. Why? Yeah, it, it's foundational for me. Lois Conley is the founder and executive director. I came up with this space because there just was nothing happening in St. Louis that was acknowledging the really rich history of black Americans in, in, in this city. She defines griot as a term borrowed from West Africa used to describe a person charged with keeping, preserving, and sharing history and culture. Conley says it's typically done in artistic ways. Black people have been creating art forever. You know, we kind of create art in the way we walk, in the way we talk, in the way we cook. So what space are we walking into here? Well, this is Gallery 3, and this is primarily where we have most of our ent entertainers. Miles Davis, born in Alton, Illinois, he loved music, and Conley says he'd visit St. Louis all the time. This is his bright Versace jacket his daughter donated to the museum. So from Miles to Josephine Baker over here. Yeah, an easy transition. Okay. Really, uh, Let's walk you know, over we got here and Josephine. see. She was born in St. Louis. She said not far from here. Okay. Right behind Union Station. Okay. What is part of Mill Creek. Her art was dance. Conley says Baker used her impact in art to influence social issues. Baker would refuse to perform in places that did not welcome black people in their venues. Historically, we used art as a way to express our grief, our anger, our joy. It was a way to get some things said that perhaps we couldn't say verbally or orally. Some of the ugly side of American history is showcased here, uh -huh. where visitors can board a section of a replica ship uh -huh. used to transport blacks uh -huh. during transatlantic slave trade. This is a slave cabin that came off of the Wright Smith plantation. Conley says this slave cabin came from Jonesburg, Missouri. The town is about an hour and a half away from downtown St. Louis. It was one of 16 slave cabins on the Wright Smith tobacco plantation. Griot workers and volunteers took down the cabin and installed it in the museum, giving a glimpse into the lives of the enslaved. These moments in history housed inside this museum illustrates discrimination and abuse. But Conley says this raw reality produces art. When you hear art, though, what do you think? I like to think of art more of what it does than what it is. And for us, no matter what art form, it's a creative expression during times of oppression. Our stories are not separate. Our stories are, are deeply intertwined. And art knows the direct route to everybody's heart. As I walk through this space daily, more than once, um, sometimes I touch things and I get a little inspiration. You know, I, if I'm nervous, I get a little courage. In North City, Justin Andrews, First Alert 4. And for a timeline on the Griot's history and other Black History Month stories, you can head to firstalert4.com slash blackhistory. Steve?